Hey, what's up? It's been a while. So, there's a treat for you since y'all kept on commenting on my R. Kelly videos. So, R. Kelly 23 through 33. Alright, let's get into it. Well, if this hasn't taught you nothing else, it's taught you that everybody's got a closet and their own problems that need solving. Could this be another case? What goes around comes back around, and what goes up must come. Well, y'all heard the saying, y'all get the point. Let me get back to the story. Cause these next chapters of Trapped in the Closet is gonna be so crazy. Sebastian and Gwen chilling in the bed watching TV. No drama. Phone rings, he says, hello. Somebody says, Sylvester, he says, who is this? And how did you get this number? Kathy and Ruth just decides to do a little shopping downtown on Michigan. Her phone rings again. She says, Ruth, is this those people again? He says, hang up, hang up. Now everything seemed to calm down between big man James and Bridget. Until <laughs> Bridget gets a call, someone says, we want to talk to you. She says, who is this? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Am I going to be famous? Drawn on the corner in the front of the liquor store. Talking on his cell phone. Somebody calls, he switch over and says, speak on it. Who? Man, don't be fucking with me. You shitting me? How much am I getting paid? Then Rosie and Randolph gets a call. Then, then Tina and Roxanne gets a call. Then Joey, yeah, Reverend Mosley, Big Man, Dixie's. James, yeah. Conclusion. <laughs> now they tried and tried and tried and tried, but there was no luck when it came to getting in touch with Joe. Where are you, Chuck? In the hospital bed. Boy, got that patch. Big patch. Nigga, that shit was off the chain. Now that's what I'm talking about. Looks like your boy Twan is about to get paid. Nigga, go ahead on. Tell him, Sylvester, that shit was furious. Nigga, you see this razor to my head? You better back up, it ain't that serious. Hold my bad. That man sit down to you. And talk to me. What was that shit you were saying to me about a mysterious phone call? Twan sits down in a chair and gives Sylvester what he calls the script. Let's take it out to the streets where Pimp Lucius is with his holes on the strip. Ha, ha. Ha, ha, Ah, say, be, 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 be. Bitches, ha, ha. Listen to me now. Uh, this is wrong. Somebody grab no seal and turn her ass around. Damn. Nah, Pimp Lucius is at a loss. And somebody got to pay the cost. One of you bitches been coming up sh sh shout. And, and, and I ain't no dummy. Bitch better have my... Mm, mm, mm. So this is where we already got that song from? Shit. Bitch better have my money? Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all gonna m -m -m mess around and make me slap y'all ass like I did Tina. And I ain't playing. There's somebody that'll talk to me. Daddy, I'm Let's go right back to the barbershop. Well, the game is over in Twine One. And it looks like he the one a lot. Well, my man, how much is it gonna be? Hold up, Sylvester, you ain't gotta pay for nothing, G. <laughs> Cause I got you and me, yeah. 
Now so that's the Antoine is leaving about the barber shop. Continuing the conversation about the mysterious phone call that they both got. So I'm like, how much am I getting paid? You know what I'm saying? After that, what did they say? Man, they was on some more, asked a couple questions about some people. Wait, did they say my name? Man, no. Why? Cause I got the same phone call, some guy. Yeah, it sound kinda like he funny. Yeah, but I don't care as long as I get this money. You know what I'm saying? You already know. Wait a minute. What? Oh, look at this here. What? Pimp Lucius. You know I gets my pimping out. Oh, shit, ain't that you do? Yeah, I be pimping all these hours. Ooh, that was way back in high school. You know I get my pimp. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So best day is that you, 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 what up Lucius, that's Pimp Lucius, don't get it twisted, man, he can call you whatever the hell he want, ain't nobody talking to you, macho man, when you don one, knock off man, I will bust a catch in your mind. you don't want none of this motherfucker, I will kick your face off. Hit you in your face with your face, nigga. <laughs> Back up. Twine, let me holler at you. Yeah, that's right. You better tell him. I'm a pimp. Never been a wimp. Daddy, are you okay? D don't touch my arm, bitch. You're going to make me lose my balance. Who's so the best of man I started? You started to what? Catch another case. Now, what did you promise me? What did you promise me? All right, all right, all right. I was going to chill. That's look, right. look like they about to kiss or something. Man, <laughs> that man never mind that fool. Besides, I'm hungry. Let's go get a meal on you. Mm. What? You the one with all the money? Yeah, but I pay for your haircut. Yeah, I'ma call you Donald Trump right now. It's the best of you real funny. And then they start to walk off. Pim Lucius calls him back. He says... Sylvester, I need to holler at you if you got a s -s sack. Hold on, Twan. Man, tell that fool to go ahead on. Man, I said, hold on, Twan. Yeah, hold on, Twan. This won't be long. What's up? You know, me and you go back chasing these hoes around in high school to doing time in the joint. Lucius, that's pimp. Lucius. That's how best I respect my profession. Man, whatever, <laughs> just get to the point. All right. I need to buy a couple of racks. What? Nah, 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 don't worry, I'ma pay it back. Oh, mm. on the first. And what's the first? The first chance I get, <laughs> man, I'm good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, player. Help a pimp out. I keep getting the strangest phone calls. <laughs> and now I think they watching my house. Why don't you ask your mother and father? <laughs> no, for a couple of days, can you come and stay with them? Man, they don't want to have nothing to do with me ever since I became a pimp. Man, I don't blame them for that. Twan, I just can't see them acting like that. I mean, them being Christians and all. And besides, that's your mother and father. Man, I think you should give them a call. Right. What? What was that? Did you hear that? Oh, Did I hear what? <laughs> yeah, ever since Pimp Lucius went to church and got a word from Reverend Mosey, it's been kind of hard. Cause ever since that day, things ain't been the same. Cause out of nowhere, he gets a scare, and here's the voice of God. You're going crazy, man. What? Call him up. Now, Sylvester, you know good damn well I can't do that. Call him up, Lucius. Wait a Where you going? How you going to play a pimp? Call him up. Didn't I tell you I was going to pay your ass back on the first? Call him up, Lucius. Look at Mr. Incredible. Call him up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here, man. Daddy. Let me go. Daddy, okay? Let me go. It's going to be all right, yeah. Now just stop it. See, Rufus is gonna have to understand that he has a wife and she loves him. Now, I vowed on that day that we got married that I would always be there for him. Now, it's a big responsibility to be a pastor of a church, I understand. But to be a pastor, you have to practice what you preach and be a responsible man. Now, regardless to all the mistakes we made, he's gonna have to make a choice. Now, it's me or whatever the hell he is, but damn it, I want a divorce. 
chip or whatever the hell, whatever the hell he is. Yeah. I love you too, honey. Okay, bye. Ruth, this is Kathy. How you doing? Come on in, have a seat. Can I get you something to drink? No, I'd rather just get right to it. Right. I'll take a water, Doc. One water coming up. Shirley, can you bring the water in? Eviana, sparkling. Sparkling. Sir, would you like that on ice? Please. Can we get right down to it? That would be nice. No ice, please. Session one. So you've been having problems in your relationship. I want you to take your time and just elaborate on it. Do you mind if I take this? Yes. I mean, I mind. Yeah, I know you do. Well, you shouldn't want our business recorded either. What business, Ruth? Does it seem like everybody already knows? Yeah, just what everybody are you referring to? Oh, everybody. Everybody in your mom. Everybody, they know about Chuck, me and you. Yeah, well, what about Sylvester, huh? And you and him, do they know about that too? Yeah, I guess they do. Do you mind if I smoke? Go right ahead. Well, let's do this before this all gets out of hand. Just talk about your main concerns and what bothers you about this relationship the most. Kathy, you go first, and Ruth is listening, try to understand. Kathy starts telling the doc how in the beginning everything was fine. Then out of nowhere, she starts crying and screaming and pouring everything out on the line. And everything he told me, I mean everything I believe. And I just don't understand, doc, how he can want another man over me. Oh. How do you feel about that, Rufus? When I first met Kathy, it was just like meeting heaven. I had just finished school and became a reverend. And everything I needed, she provided. What happened, Ruth? Then I met Chuck and somehow got misguided. So you went off the road that you were meant to travel. Yes, I did, despite the fact you knew every word in the book. I'm sorry. Don't look at me, look at Kathy. I'm sorry. You really went and screwed things uh, up, Rufus. Kathy, please, I'm sorry. Well, tell me this. Do you love him? Baby, I'm sorry, sorry. Rufus, do you love him? Tell me love him. Nigga, that's a question. Rufus begins to pray. God, if you can hear me now, please change impossible to somehow. Mrs. Long's wait. I waited long enough. But your husband's in there in pieces. Yeah, well, I'm tired of picking them up. Oh, you don't want to be like that. Does the stem elevate? In fact, I don't think you really mean that. Yeah, I don't. And what do you know? I know you're pressing the elevator. Yeah, and, and we on the first floor. <laughs> well, I'll just take the stairs. That would be the basement. The stairs way. Now, sometimes... We all make mistakes. But that doesn't mean we can't get better. No, don't run away. And you got a man in there fighting for y'all marriage on his knees. Yeah, well, what am I supposed to do about it when that man hurt me so deep? Yeah, but that's why you're both are here. To work it out. Yeah, but what is there to work out when it... When he said he was still in love with the man. Ooh, oh, oh. I know. Now listen to me. See, once upon a time I had this couple. 
and it both will paralyze my best struggle. And I just couldn't get them to understand the purpose for a woman and man. Side to side, better or for worse, I'm married. Yeah, but what's that got to do with me you and Rufus? Everything, Kathy. Cause that same couple broke up 15 years ago and to this day, they still not happy. Haunted by their past and what if? And I just think you guys got a real chance here. Now meanwhile, Rufus is praying real hard going in. On his knees in the doctor's office asking God to forgive him for his sin. God help me, I'm so confused, and I just don't know what to do, and you know that I love my wife, but Chuck is so hard to lose, help, I really, really want to forgive him, but it's the hardest, I know, help, in all fairness, Kathy, you did have a man in your closet, <laughs> help, look, you can do this, you said if I call on you, you will be there, now what are you going to do, Is I Baby, I forgive you. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. Oh, we'll work it out. I love you. I love you too. I uh. I mean, I really don't know what to say here. What talk about your life? What? You know, talk all about you having an affair what? with another man. Wait a minute, that wasn't the plan. Did you sleep with Chuck? Sir, if you want to talk about the church and what it's doing for the community, you talk to me. The papers I, but I am a pastor and I'm not here to put my family's business out on the streets. Yeah, that's right, you're a pastor, so why is confession so hard? It's not, it's just that the only one I need to be confessing to is God. Sir, will you this is over. Will you be appearing on the show? To God bless you. Yes, Thank you. You can't do this. The truck have AIDS. Yup. Is that what the package is? Yup. Sir. Sir, are you going to answer the question? Nope. Rosie and Randolph in the bed, trying to get some sleep. Something's heavy on Randolph's heart, he can't sleep a week. Did you mean that? <laughs> what? Did I mean what? Hmm? Did you really, really mean that? Did I really, really mean what? That night you said what you said. And what did I say? You know what you said. <laughs> you know what you said. You call me Mr. Can't Get It Up. All right, yeah. no, I'm not doing this with you tonight. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. Oh, no, I'm not. I want to talk about it, Rosie. Just wake your ass on up. Yeah, I'm gonna wake up all right. Wake up and take my ass on in the other room. Yeah, well, I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna follow you. Oh, you're a mess. Yeah. Now I'm a mess. Call it what you want, cause tonight I'm gonna get the shit off my chest. Yeah, that's right, Rosie and Randolph. They got into an argument again. Some of y'all may think they hate each other, but if you ask me, I would say they're best friends. You don't shut the hell up. Oh, you shut the hell up. Folk trying to get some sleep around here. Well, ain't nobody gonna get no sleep. Yeah, and why is that? Well, I won't tell you why. Cause I got something to show you, Rosie. Yeah. And just what the hell it is you got to show me? Oh, I got something to show you, Rosie. Yeah. All the hell with this, I'm going to bed. But, but not till I show you, Rosie. Ooh, what are you doing? Said I got something for you. Friend, if I know you better not do what I think you about to do. Said I got something for you. I don't want it. And I'm going to show you. I'm not going to look here, cold. Lord, I'm about to turn these lights out. No need for that. They get this by our friend. They get this by our friend. This whole room gon' go black. Lord have mercy, you done lost your damn mind. I got you, didn't I? You ain't get Didn't I get you, though? I got you. Get the dough. I got your ass. Oh, hell. Oh, hell is right. Who just ringing my bell? Ever since I called Randolph, Mr. King, get it up. He been out of his mind. Walking around the house grabbing his stuff. Who does that at 89? I mean, I'm 69. Oh, shit, <laughs> it's late your turn. You see what I mean? Got something to show me. Well, ain't nobody trying to see that little thing. Dang. 
First of all, let me tell you about Rosie. Wait a and it ain't gonna be much to say. But since we're telling the truth, she jealous of me, and that's 24 hours a day. She calling me Mr. Can't Get It Up. She and she the one out of her mind. 89, I'm 69, and I can still oh, pump and grind. Oh, let me get some of this. No, wait a minute, God damn it, you done already now had your turn. Tell me. I got something to say. Yeah, yeah, she's playing with fire. Now you're about to get burned. Oh, let's go. Oh, 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 Security. Hey. You're on TV, guys. Hello, Randolph. Please, Rosie. I chop your ass up. You don't believe me? You what? You what? What the hell has that gotten into you, Hello, Rosie? Randolph. Are you this? crazy you pushing this? me around you like want this? Some of this don't you? You want some? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Nobody of mine, I'll agree. Said it best. Can I get a man up in cheer? Uh, now, some of y'all don't know I used to sing background for that man. The God came in and swooped me up off my feet. And he. Well, he could do the same for you. He could make it right. But I got some here that'll change your very life. <laughs> Thank you, God. The Rev. J. Move Ministry presents my book. <laughs> and it's an excellent read. Telling you it's going to touch you, yeah. Mm. In your heart. The spirit. Tell me somebody out there need a brand new start. Amen. And if that's you, then this is it. Trapped in a closet. The book. Now, now I don't mean to brag, but it's the Bible. And it's this, hallelujah. Now all you gotta do is Reverend Mosley starts to preach on about the book and what it takes to get one. Just sit there twenty nine ninety five, and that's a discount. So do it now. And this trapped in the closet book is yours. Tina and Roxanne at the restaurant. Roxanne says, "Jack Leg preacher, he's so full of shit." Then Tina says, "Don't say that, girl. He's a preacher." Roxanne says, "I know a preacher when I see one." <laughs> See, I appreciate everything that Roxanne did for me when Twan was in prison. But Twan is out now, and it's time for Tina to make her own damn decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I slept with Roxanne a couple of times, and I gotta admit it was cool. I needed a job and a place to live, but I'm tired of playing by fucking rules. So anyway, we both got a phone call to come on some TV show to talk about the shit. At first I said no, but you know what? I think I'm gonna go. I don't know who the hell she thinks she is that she thinks she could talk to me this way. She got another thing coming. Let me tell you something. She gonna fuck around, make me catch a case. Took her black ass in, gave her a job, and oh, she wanna forget about the past. Twan, she crazy. She thinks she leaving me for his career. The body having ass. Okay.
Twine is the best. You lay me no ass. Twine is the best in the private garage. Twine says, Man, how you like these kicks? Nigga, ever since you won that money, uh -huh. can't nobody tell you shit. Damn right. Now, Twine, you already know what to do. Man, how many times I gotta tell you? I got you. Man, just be on the lookout. Sylvester, check me out. <laughs> oh, shit, right? You got a gun Ooh. now, nigga? Yeah. And I told motherfuckers I was going to buy me a piece. Oh, let me check it out. See? Nice. Man, I bust a cap in a motherfucker's ass and a nigga won't even think twice. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Yeah, you know your brother law, he keeps it real. Well, before brother law gets us both uh -huh. killed, I'll be holding what? it till we make the deal Man, and get out of there. Man, Atuan, this shit is serious. Now this motherfucker we're going to meet, this motherfucker's delirious. Now, listen to me and listen good. When we walk in, yeah, don't, don't say nothing. Yeah, that's right. These niggas ain't friends like the Italians. They're busting, won't even ask questions. You go first. Okay. Now here it is. I done finally went out and bought myself a gun. It's the best to take it from me. I'm like, oh man, I can't never have no fun. And then we get into some gangster shit, and I'm like, ooh. I'm thinking to myself, if Sylvester hadn't took my piece, I would bust on these fools. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, nigga, what y'all want to do? I was about that your confession? <coughs> yeah. Nigga, that shit ain't cool. See, Twan likes to talk a lot, walk around, brag a lot. I'm always telling him, keep it cool. Get back with Tina, don't be no fool. But you gotta walk a mile in my shoes. And the places I walked, I ain't have no shoes. Run off gangsters, do shit with violence. Real gangsters move in silence. But can I get my silence? Man, this is some bull silence. Oh, you just gonna keep on saying silence? silence? <laughs> you gotta love this man. <laughs> Hey, Pappy. Don't hey, Pappy me. Damn. Mm. You just kill your ass on back in them streets. Let him in, Red. Shut your ass up, Rosie. Mm. Now just kill your ass on back to bed. You so goddamn nosy. <laughs> well, it's my son, too. <laughs> This ain't got nothing to do with you. And just how the hell you figure that? Nah, nah, nah. I don't want to start nothing between you two. Now you just stay the hell out of this. Don't talk to him like that. I could talk to him how the hell I want to. Yeah. Don't mock me, Rosie. Mama. And you just take your green ass on back out on them corners. What, what, what? Open the door. Nope. Open the door. Nope. Randolph, open that goddamn. Randolph thinks about it. And then he says. Shit. And then he opens the door. Come on in, Lucius. Mama, that's pimp. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay. What you come around here for? I, I need a favor. We ain't got no money. Now, Randolph. Yeah. Now, just quit acting funny. Being broke ain't funny. Now, what's going on, honey? Where? I need to buy a few racks. Well, damn. And a place to lay my... Head. Honey, what's right? You ain't laying that head in none of these things. Douglas, Sammy, don't call me by my nickname. It ain't your nickname. <laughs> it's your middle name. Now go on, Lucius. I, 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 hey, I, just calm down. And take your time, baby. Lucius starts to explain to his mother how he's been getting the strangest phone call. And then the doorbell starts to ring again. Randolph's like, what the hell is going on? And Pimp Lucia says, Mama, I'll pay you back the first. If you do this, baby, what's the first? The first the chance, chance I get. Tell me you about to go through this shit. Rosie, Randolph, Rosie, Mama, Lucius. That's Pimp Lucius. Now everybody's screaming, going insane while the doorbell's ringing off the chain. Yeah, he's going straight, damn it, I'm going go. Yeah, shut up, Randolph, and get the goddamn door. Oh, hell. <laughs> well, kiss me, Jesus. Well, who is it? It's in vogue. With a new lead single. 
Also in one book. What the hell are you bitches doing? Daddy, we came to shut up. <laughs> I did not tell you hoes to wait in the car. Yes, but no, see, I want to shut up. I don't utter another goddamn word. You see this fist? <laughs> now, whose idea was this? Oh, pigeon gonna shit on you this time. <laughs> bitches. Did not ask you a fucking question. Well, we were all sitting in the car. And it was just taking too long. And then Osea got Shut worried and she said to us, let's get out and see what's going on. And that's when... Shut it up! Now just shut your goddamn mouth. You can't bullshit me. No see of my ass. Hell, this bitch can't even see. Get your ass back on in that car. Daddy, let me explain. I can explain. Come on, girl, let it work. Help her! Got her! Call my bitches in vogue. <laughs> Some shit. <laughs> Co. Hands. Pull my cane. It was to buy a few racks and a place to lay my head. But Pappy Douglas know he be tripping. He ain't wanted to have nothing to do with me. Yeah. Ever since I dropped out of high school and started pimping, I'm blinging. Oh, I'm the meanest. You'd have thought I was a drug the way I keep these holes cleaning for me. Daddy, you Shh. Y'all shut the hell up. My this is my time. confession. Now, what kind of father would put his son out on the streets? Call me a pimp or thug. I'm still his blood. How could he do this to me? Church! While Sylvester and Twan is walking down the alley, Sylvester is telling him more. And as they get closer, you hear the rap music beating through the door. And then... It's me, yo. I say, what the fuck, niggas? Man, just calm. Dude, I'm just here to see Bino. Tell Bino. It's the best there's some strange looking ass nigga out here to holler at him. Grumpy in your old age, yeah, whatever. Motherfuckers, all right, all right, have a cigar. Man, the only thing I'm gonna be smoking around this bitch is you two fools. Antoine and Sylvester, they walk in, and then they make a left, and then a right, right, and downstairs, stand, and keep straight. Then they make another left, and another left, and another left. Then yeah. upstairs, upstairs, third floor, third floor, elevator, elevator. Sylvester says, my man, Bino, what a player. Don't come in here with that sweet talk, nigga. Now just sit your ass down in these chairs. Bino, he loves you both, says. Now who is this motherfucker? My brother-in-law, man, he's cool. Bino, should I pop his nugget? Bank it. Sylvester, you know the rules. Yeah, that's my bad, Bino. But after this, we got some place to be. So can we get right down to business? It's all good, baby. It better be. Can he get a 
water. Shut up, motherfucker. Nigga, talk to me. Well, I'ma make it quick. Some real heavy shit coming out of Miami. I know some niggas in Atlanta that's gonna move it for me. Yeah, and just what kind of heavy shit are we talking about here? Heavy shit. Let be no man, let me tell you the lick. Now Sylvester tries to whisper through it, but it's hard to talk over all the rap music. We can get this money, it's an in and out. Maybe I can buy one of these stallions. <laughs> 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 Shit ain't funny. You think I'm a dummy? I know you're doing deals with the Italians. Oh, oh shit. Look, no man, it ain't nothing. Damn. I thought that nigga was about to die. <laughs> 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 That's funny. So tell me, how Joey doing? Fucking rat. Spaghetti and meatball and motherfucker popped me on a Chicago deal mm, way back. Now Twan look at Sylvester, Sylvester look at Twan, and then look at Vino, and all of his goals. And I don't know where Twan stands up and says, man, ain't nobody trying to play you. Then Bank Head says, sit the fuck down before I bobble your head. The Sylvester remembers Twan's gun is in a holster on his leg. Vino scream, motherfuckers come up in my establishment. Mm. And disrespect me. Mm. Back it, take him out back. Now cool. wait a minute, Twan hits one goal. <laughs> and then he kicks another. Oh. This is best to pause the gun on Vino and says, don't, don't make me shoot you, my brother. So well, then back up. <clears throat> Motherfuckers back up. Twan takes back hands, gun and says, you heard what he said. Motherfuckers don't act up. Ooh. And then Vino says, the family's friends. Well, 
Yeah, boy. Yeah.